Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Aircraft have existed since the Wright brothers first flew at Kitty Hawk in 1903. Over the decades, aircraft have become more reliable and changed their designs. Is it possible that with electricity, we are standing on the cusp of one of the most influential advances yet? History has been made with the Pipestral Velis Electro, which holds the distinction of being the first totally electric aircraft to be granted type approval. It weighs 2,400 pounds, and can carry a 1,200 pound payload at a cruising speed of 150 knots. Its ESA certification sets the stage for the emergence of ecologically sustainable, emission-free flying. Not only has the electrical flight been achieved, but mass production of several aircraft has become a reality. Aircraft like the Pipestral brand, situated in Slovenia, can now also add an electric aircraft to their four current models. Among the accolades bestowed upon Pipestral are the NASA Aviation Safety Award and the EAA Innovation Award. On the military side, a key contributor to developing platforms like the MH-139A Grey Wolf, the 413th Flight Test Squadron, has been actively engaged in contemporary electric aircraft testing. Projects like the Grey Wolf provide the unit with the opportunity to make electric aircraft a reality. Because of the Pipestral Velis Electro's innovative nature, the 96th test wing at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, has been testing the aircraft to determine its characteristics. What they find may affect how electric aircraft in the U.S. Air Force will look and function in the future. First electric aircraft I've ever flown. It's kind of very light and it's very easy to set the power. You know, interesting flight characteristics uh, compared to a normal general aviation aircraft. But there is another electric aircraft which is also drawing attention. As part of the groundbreaking effort to promote environmentally friendly aviation, the United States Air Force initiated testing of the Beta Technologies Alia electric aircraft. Beta Technologies, renowned for its dedication to pioneering electric aviation solutions, brought the Alia to fruition with a principal emphasis on trips that produce zero emissions. The delivery of the Alia to the United States Air Force represents a noteworthy achievement in investigating environmentally sustainable military aircraft alternatives. This electric aircraft is outfitted with a distinctive combination of sophisticated aerodynamics, power-efficient battery technology, and vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capabilities, rendering it highly adaptable for a wide range of operational requirements.
the United States Air Force testing program will assess the aircraft's capabilities, encompassing its endurance, payload capacity, and general dependability across various situations. Furthermore, the testing phase will include evaluating the aircraft's capacity for logistical operations, surveillance, and rapid response situations. This program is a component of a more comprehensive approach initiated by the Department of Defense to investigate sustainable and efficient technologies that can be utilized to enhance national security and provide environmental advantages. The partnership between companies like Beta Technologies and the United States Air Force primes a progressive altitude to contemporary military aircraft. The future potential of the Beta Technologies Alia electric aircraft is extensive and revolutionary. The addition of automated flight technologies to the Alia further improves its allure by offering the promise of enhanced safety and operational efficiency. With groundbreaking technology coming to the fore, hybrid aircraft are also being tested. Electra is an advanced hybrid aircraft being tested at Marine Corps Air Station Quantico. It effectively combines the use of both chemical and electrical energy, maximizing efficiency and environmental friendliness. The aircraft's dual power capabilities enable it to operate with flexibility in different mission configurations and operational circumstances. Significantly, the Electra has the capability to operate as a portable power supply, generating electricity like a generator, which is extremely useful in distant or difficult to reach places. Its adaptability and cutting edge design make it a promising answer for operations in many climates and places, potentially revolutionizing military mission execution and field support tasks. Hybrid electric powertrains are getting more powerful. The HIPSTAIR project demonstrated a noteworthy achievement in electric-powered air travel on February 9, 2016, by successfully activating the most potent hybrid electric powertrain for aviation worldwide. Initiated by Pepestrel, this significant advancement included the development of the hybrid-powered Pepestrel Panthera aircraft. The propulsion system integrates a 200 kilowatt electric motor with a 100 kilowatt generator powered by a traditional internal combustion engine. This cutting edge technology enables the airplane to function exclusively in electric, generator only, or hybrid modes. The project represents a significant advancement in sustainable aviation by reducing pollutants and fuel consumption. But let's take a closer look at the Panthera. 
The hybrid Pipestral Panthera is a pioneering aircraft strategically engineered to integrate fuel efficiency with state-of-the-art technology. Utilizing a 260 horsepower Lycoming IO540 engine, this vehicle has the capability to function in three different modes, all electric, generator only, or hybrid. The aircraft's streamlined shape, lightweight carbon fiber construction, and retractable titanium undercarriage contribute to its remarkable efficiency, enabling it to achieve speeds of around 200 knots while using less fuel. The aircraft's adaptability enables it to safely depart from short runways and function in various weather conditions. The hybrid design of the Panthera significantly decreases both noise and emissions, therefore providing a crucial advancement towards a sustainable market. But let's take it a step further and apply hydrogen fuel to aircraft. A significant milestone was achieved by Zero Avia on January 19th, 2023 with the successful inaugural flight of its Dornier 228 testbed aircraft, which was equipped with the prototype ZA600 hydrogen electric engine on the left side. This groundbreaking flight showcases the theoretical feasibility of hydrogen electric propulsion in the aviation sector, signifying a notable advancement towards achieving zero emissions in commercial flights. The broader consequences of this achievement are extensive, facilitating the development of sustainable aviation solutions diminishing the aeronautical sector's carbon emissions, and stimulating advancements in renewable energy sources for airplanes. Zero Avia's objective is to bring zero emission powered aircraft to the market by 2025, which is the potential to transform aerial transportation and establish new environmental benchmarks together with other groundbreaking aircraft. Strides in hydrogen fuel cells have already been made by at least one other company, Universal Hydrogen. Lightning McLean is a 40-passenger regional airliner powered by hydrogen fuel cells. It symbolizes advancements in sustainable aviation, demonstrating zero-emission flight potential for commercial airliners. To put things into perspective, direct hydrogen combustion is the process of burning hydrogen in an engine, resulting in the production of water as the primary exhaust. Electricity is generated by hydrogen fuel cells by electrochemical reactions, bypassing combustion. Lightning McLean by Universal Hydrogen uses fuel cells to achieve quieter, more efficient, and zero emission propulsion, in contrast to the direct combustion methods used in other hydrogen engines. On January 19th, performed preliminary taxi runs of the testbed aircraft in preparation for its momentous inaugural flight. 
After those pre-flight inspections for Lightning McLean encompassed comprehensive safety assessments of the hydrogen fuel cell powertrain, including the verification of electrical system integrity and the testing of fluid connections. The future of hydrogen mobility promises modular hydrogen distribution, which can be achieved using conventional freight handling equipment, therefore removing the necessity for additional infrastructure or intricate fueling processes. Regional airplanes will one day be equipped with this system, and larger aircraft and other types of mobility will follow suit. Advances in technology have taken mankind from purely gas-guzzling aircraft to aircraft that can use only electricity. Then we have hybrids, where electricity and gas work together to hydrogen-powered aircraft where the only emissions are pure water or H2O. All these advancements promise savings and a cleaner planet for us to share. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.